Hey everybody, in today's videos, we are going to be updating our fixture that we use to turn these titanium blanks into carabiners. I have got about a thousand of those carabiners to make and my old fixture was just not going to cut it. This is the fixture that I was using. You can see that the carabiner blank plops down in there and then it gets held down both with this M4 screw and this Mighty Bite clamp. The problem is this Mighty Bite was distorting my carabiners. So we're gonna make a new fixture that may be a little more difficult to load and unload, but will hopefully be much more reliable in terms of getting good parts out of it. My plan to accomplish that is to use adhesive work holding instead of mechanical work holding. Now the super glue and tape method is a really well-known method of holding parts for machining, but we're not gonna be doing that. We are gonna be using something that I have never actually seen done on YouTube, which is using a UV curing epoxy as the work hole. Now, the reason I like this stuff is because it cures under a UV lamp in like a minute, under a minute, if it's thin enough, as opposed to something like a, a wax or a pewter fixturing that you have to heat up and then wait for it to cool down again. This is really fast. It also seems to release really well from the, both the aluminum fixture and the titanium part, though I have not really tested that in practice. So the way this resin works is we have our, our fixture here, not a real fixture, this is an imaginary fixture that I'm using for the sake of a demo. And we put a little bit of resin on it. And then we put our part on that. Here, we'll put it like that. And cure it with UV light. Then after a couple of minutes, I took off the light and now you can see that our part is secured to our fixture. Again, not the real fixture, this is just a demonstration. And we can do whatever machining and then we can just take it off fairly easily and the, the resin comes right off the, the carabiner and for the fixture, all you have to do is just kind of push it off and it'll come right off. To facilitate all of that, in a precise manner, we are gonna be making this little fixture right here. Now this is basically just a pocket that the carabiner sits in, and it has a couple places, namely here, here, and here, where I can put the, the UV resin and then cure it. This thing should be pretty straightforward to machine. It's basically just a big pocket. That's looking pretty good, but it just forgot an entire operation. I don't know what that's about. So I'm going to take a look at the code and you know repost just that operation. Now, if we did this right, I should be able to take that blank and Oh yeah, it fits right in there. That's perfect. No wiggle room, nothing. I suppose we should put some glue in there and uh, see if we can machine this now. So now I can just take a little bit of glue in this bottle here. Now I have to be careful not to use too much, I think. Just do a drop there, a drop there, and a drop there. And then take my light. And hmm, I probably should have a way of propping that up. Um, hmm. Well, for a second here, I'll just put it like this. Oh, okay, that's gonna do nothing. These are plastic one, two, three blocks, which I suppose means they're, they might melt, but I'm not gonna get glue on, you know, fixture grade one, two, three blocks. There you go. All right, let's let that cure for a minute. Seems like it'll work to me. Do I have a drip? There you go, see that drip comes right off of that aluminum. I have no idea if I can be able to get this carabiner out. Mm. 
All right, and we're cutting. It was kind of a violent plunge down into the part, and I hope I didn't kill my feed mill during that, but it's quiet and seems to be happy now. Uh, I'll change my Z height a little bit, and uh, hopefully that'll help. Or my clearance height in cam, rather. Upon further review, that actually wasn't the problem. The part started coming out of the fixture. The part started popping up immediately, and you can see it's really easy to get out of here, at least in that one spot. Yeah, it'll just pry right out. Well, that's a fail. That didn't work at all. All the way around, the resin stuck to the carabiner, but it just popped straight out of that aluminum, presumably because it, it was a little bit oily or greasy from the, the coolant, and there was no sort of tooth. It was, I mean, not a mirror. I have a Tormach, but it was a good shiny surface. So I took a minute to think about it, and I have an idea. Cleanliness. We're just going to clean the fixture to make sure there is no coolant or oils left over on it and try basically the same thing again. I may use more glue this time, but it may just be the, the coolant keeping it from sticking to the aluminum. If that doesn't work, then I have a couple other ideas, but we'll, we'll try cleanliness first. Exact same thing again, but now with the aluminum being clean. I can't see or hear a thing. I'm starting to think that did it. I don't see anything wrong yet. Now I'm not gonna walk away from my machine right now, but so far it looks like it's working. Well, it's still there. Uh, I think it did it. Let's see if I can get it out now. That's the question. Oh, that's loose right there. Well, it's not bad. It's probably one of my better looking carabiners that's come out of that machine, but I can still tell that it came loose. I can. I'm gonna try the same thing again, but with a different resin this time. This is actually a 3D printing resin. It's still UV cure. This resin is designed for investment casting, specifically lost, well not lost wax, but lost resin casting. And I bought it thinking that it would be easier to melt off of a part. But what I didn't realize at the time is that it doesn't actually melt, it just burns at like 1300 degrees Fahrenheit, which isn't particularly helpful to me right now. But we'll try it. We'll see if it's uh, stickier than the other resin. Maybe it'll work better. I accidentally used way too much resin, but here's the other resin in there. And I don't know, the part doesn't feel loose, so we'll see what it does. Hey Ruth, look at the camera. Say hi. Hi. Are you having fun with the resin? Mm -hmm. It's not gonna go to waste. All right, that's another one that looks pretty good. Well, demolding was easy. So while I appreciate how easily that came out, that's not exactly ideal. So now I'm gonna use this little uh, Dremel thingy engraver to put, just, just to rough up the surface a little bit on the inside here to give the fixture some tooth. So that didn't do a whole lot of material removal, but it should hopefully give that, that resin just a little bit more grip. All right, that last one actually ended up working super well, and I should have it in my hand as a prop. That last one ended up working super well. It was just the right amount of force to get out of there. Adding that tooth to the fixture, I think did it. The next step is to test this in mass. After all, I do have to make about a thousand of these carabiners. And so I need to make sure this process works reliably and consistently and that after, you know, a hundred of them, I don't hate everything. So I'm gonna put a second or a third pocket onto that little fixture I have and just keep making carabiners. I have 50 blanks that I can use for testing. So I'll see how, I'll, I'll make like 25 or something and see how much I like it. 
Anyway, I am wrapping up this video here. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to buy one of these carabiners for the next two weeks, they are available on Kickstarter. They end October 7th. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.